hello welcome to my channel intuitive tarot love this reading will be for sagittarius sun moon rising venus signs this will not resonate with everyone sagittarius this will be a general message in love for you and your person in love okay energy is fluid so the roles can be reversed there's no gender in tarot and cross watchers are welcome if you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with a sagittarius i'm more likely going to pick up on your energy because um if your person does not watch tarot and you do then that's that's how it will work i'll more likely pick up on your energy My um, readings are timeless. Whenever you hear this message, you're meant to hear it. All right. I will have a link for the extended version in the description box and my link for personal readings in the description box. Okay. Sagittarius. Let's look at your energy and love. Um past present and future energy for Sagittarius Oop. we have the chariot Sagittarius I just saw these two the nine of swords and the queen of cups okay and your person in love Let's look at your person in love, Sagittarius. Sagittarius season right now. Happy birthday to all of the Sagittarius people out there. Who is Sagittarius connecting with in love? Please show me their energy, past, present, and future in dealing with Sagittarius. The Eight of Wands. Oh, the Ace of Wands, reverse. Why? Right. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay. So that's you. This is your person. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay, Sagittarius. For your energy... For your energy, background energy, I see you wanting to walk away from something and step into your higher um, divine masculine energy. This emperor energy, a boss, a leader, you know, stepping up. Some of you could be a father um, or a mother, um, but stepping up to be a provider very stable secure um, and walking away from something in order to do that for your person's energy I see them working hard as well eight of Pentacles but I see them you know running off doing something a little deceptive um, and also thinking of the past here with the six of cups reminiscing on the past probably how they did something in the past how they probably did something deceptive in the past. All right. So in your past energy, you have the chariot. Clarify the chariot. We have justice. Clarify the chariot. And judgment. Wow. Justice and judgment. Clarify the chariot. The Ten of Swords and Three of Cups. So some of you could have been in a third party situation with that Three of Cups. Um, and you definitely had a lot of movement forward. I see that some of you actually left this behind, I want to say, because we do have a lot of movement forward. Um, the Eight of Wands, the Hanged One, you know, being able to let go of that and move forward with the Chariot. 
Um, so you definitely left something behind. There was justice. There were truths that came out in the third party situation. There was judgment. So you saw the light. Things were shown to you. Um, of course, you were hurt. Of course, you were betrayed. Of course, you felt like you were stabbed in the back here. Um, this person could have left you on red and left you out in the cold as well. But at the end of the day, you know, the light was shown to you on a third party situation. Okay, so let's clarify. Let me see what else. Oh. Clarify this past energy for Sagittarius. Hold on, let me get that card. Okay. So the card that flew out was the family card. So whatever came out could have involved this person's family. We have lying. We have health. We have real love. We have addiction. And we have message in reverse. Um, I did say this probably left this person probably left you on red. Um, but message here. Or this person, you know, texted you and told you some truths here. Um, yeah. So whatever you found out, the truth of the situation, there's legalities and laws in the background as well and single. So this person definitely, you know, there was something here about their family. We have health here. <clears throat> justice with judgment tells me, you know, that there's something with court, justice and judgment. You know, it's like the judge ruling on something. Um, you were devastated, but also for you, I feel like there was celebration. Okay. So for some of you, if this was not a third party, I mean, I didn't get the third party card, but that three of cups, you know, um, if this wasn't a third party, it was like, you know, there was judgment that came out. There was justice. Someone definitely could have lied. There was, um, the, the courts involved here, um, and you were definitely hurt because there was real love for this person. Somebody could have had an addiction. Okay. Um, but yeah, either way, third party or not, there was some truth that came out. Some justice came out. Um, even though there was real love here, there were lies. And the family could have been involved some way, somehow in this situation. Okay, so let's look at your person's past energy. They have the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, the Fool, Three of Cups again, Knight of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Okay, so in this person's past energy, there was movement as well. For you, um, this was a spiritual journey and spiritual movement with the chariot, okay? Um, your angel spirits and guides, the universe was leading you, um, like giving you direction, okay? And so whatever came out for you, it, it gave you direction and it allows you to, to move forward um, in a purposeful way. Um, I see movement for this person as well. Um, but this is fast energy. This is fast energy and um, it doesn't seem to be very much spiritual here. Although I see that they started a new beginning. Okay, so fast energy for this person, a lot of movement. Um, I see that in their past, they they felt abandoned. They felt rejected. They felt like they were lacking here. I'll try to clarify, but they felt that they were um, lacking. And so they had a new beginning come in with this fool. 
they had a new beginning come in there's this third party energy again the knight of cups they wanted to give their love and then they wanted to walk away emotionally hmm clarify this past energy here's that lying again and health why does this health card keep coming out health 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 oh oh wow we have reunion in the background I'm, I'm like why is this health card coming out um it plays a part here and it's this five of pentacles this is five of pentacles so did I get you? I don't think I got five of pentacles for you, but this five of pentacles has to do with the material things in the body as well. And so this person definitely could have been struggling with something in their health. And so they wanted a new beginning here. They were struggling something with their health. I don't know how the lies came in. I feel that the lies came in, in this third party. But there's a past life connection here and a reunion. Okay, so what I'm, the energy that I'm seeing here is this person, there was a lot of fast movement, okay? Um, whatever they were going through, whether financially, physically, their health, whatever they were going through, they wanted a new beginning, okay? They had a new beginning, an opportunity came in. This could have been a past life connection. And so they, oh, I also had reunion, yeah reuniting that three of cups so they had an opportunity here to reunite and have a past life connection okay so they decided to give their love but they also decided to walk away emotionally and i feel that that is with you sagittarius i do In the background, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Cups. So even though this person, they could have been on the road to recovery with this Knight of Pentacles, but also they were on the road to building something stable for themselves, but they were confused about where to give their love. They were confused about where to give their love. But there's a past life connection involved here. So whether this past life connection is with you or the other person that came in, this third party energy, that played a part. So either their health played a part in them doing this third party situation and lying about it or the past life connection, or it could go either way. Um, someone here is connected to them because of the past life. Someone could be connected to them because of the health situation. Okay. Okay, let's get into current energy. Current energy for you. You have the Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Sagittarius. Six of Cups. That past situation. King of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Four of Wands. Wow. Wow. So even though this person did put you through it, I see, you know, you have this person on your mind. They could be popping up in your dreams. Um, they could be popping up in your dreams, um, but something on your mind here with this person. You're thinking about the past right now. You're thinking about the past connection with this King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign as well. But there's a lot of attraction still. There's a lot of, of, of chemistry, passion, desire um, for this person and this connection. Um, and even though you're wanting to reconnect with this person and you're wanting to reunite, there's still that you don't trust them. You still don't trust them here um, because there is this deceptive energy here, this lying this lying energy here 
this betrayal clarify we have trust your intuition what is that head heart over head oh. judgment and assumptions i do not want to take all these negative mindset blocked pregnancy life purpose out of love in the background with lust so someone could be out of love here and this is just lusty energy with that fire energy there um it's funny because i have judgment in the background and there's judgment here okay but this judgment card for me is um you know about you making assumptions here or judging this person or the situation but more than anything you know you're being called right now to um realize the truths of the situation so you're able to let go and move on <clears throat> okay so we have trust your intuition here with this person heart overhead your intuition comes to you through your feelings okay um trust your intuition when it comes to this person um you might have assumed some things you might have been a little judgmental here regardless i see that you are being pushed in your life purpose because um you're, you're gaining direction <clears throat> you're gaining direction here um from whatever the situation that happened there could have been a pregnancy involved someone can definitely be blocked and with this negative mindset um i feel that is your on your end um with you Thinking very, you know, negatively, assuming things because of whatever this person did. The lies, whatever this person did, it's causing you to have that mindset, okay? But you're being called to trust your intuition when it comes to this person, okay? Because, you know, there was judgment, okay? So I feel that, you know, you do have some insight you do have um you know things have been revealed and that's this energy right now um i know that the eclipse um the gemini sagittarius eclipse it's all about revealing truths and things coming out so even though you know you are thinking about the situation you 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 kind of have everything that you need to move forward but you are being guided to lead with love and trust your intuition when it comes to this person Okay, let's clarify their energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. The Five of Swords, their current energy. Six of Swords, clarify the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> King of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius or you in, in your chart. pentacles oh they have the nine of swords in the background as well so i want to say that this person is stressing out as well having a lot on their mind in this time with the ten of swords and the empress and the king of wands oh wow with the knight of wands so they are definitely thinking about their empress, their divine counterpart here. Um, they want to be able to let go of all of the pain and, and the heartbreak they feel, um, the betrayal that they might have caused here. They want to be able to end the cycle here. Okay, but in their current energy, they have the Ace of Wands reversed. You know, this means they want to take action, but they're not taking action. They want to do something, but they're not doing anything at the moment. It's blocked for them, okay? Why is this blocked? They have the Five of Swords, Six of Swords, King of Swords, Five of Wands, King of Pentacles. Um, Self-sabotaging energy, you know? You want to do something, but you're not doing anything. You're trying to avoid it. They're trying to um, walk away from it. They're trying to act like it's not there. They're trying to walk away from their emotions. 
they they're having internal conflict right now between doing the right thing being the king of pentacles so they could have a family um, they could have responsibilities they could have things that they have to take care of um, you know their job or career they're struggling between just focusing on that and um, should I just focus on that or you know they're trying their hardest to ignore what's going on in their mind okay so that's what they're doing. It's like, I want to ignore what's going on, on in my mind. And it's a complete struggle for them. It's a fight for them. But they want to focus on their money and, and their career and, and stepping things up and the responsibilities that they do have. Um, yeah, that's why. This person is really being stubborn and difficult. They're, they're trying to just... Ignore everything that they're feeling. Act like it's not there. Self-sabotage. Trying to just leave this in the past. Secrets. Job. Heartbreak and betrayal. Divine intervention. Dream messages. I feel that both of you are having dream messages. Because both of you have the Nine of Swords. They have it in the background. You have it right there. There are dream messages here that you should pay attention to, okay? Um, because with divine intervention, and look at that phone call. I've been seeing this phone call card a lot. So let's see what else. Marriage, new love, twin flames, trustworthy. Um, I've been seeing this phone call card a lot. So some of you... Like, I feel like everyone's getting a phone call. I don't know. Dream messages, secrets, secrets, the job. They're trying to just focus on their job. That's what they're trying to do. Focus on their job. Keep um, things hidden. But it's, it's literally eating them up inside. I want to say it's eating them up. They're in their mind a lot, okay? Aquarius energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. <clears throat> Sorry. It's eating them up. And so the dream messages as well, like they have you on their mind. They have the situation on their mind a lot. They're trying to ignore it as best as they can. Um, but this divine intervention is what's occurring, is what's happening, is what is going to cause this situation to finally, you know, have some action happen here because they want to take action and they're not taking it. All right, so look into the possible future outcome here. Future energy for you. We have the Queen of Cups. Clarify that. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Cups. The world. Two of Wands. The Magician. That four of swords wanted to come out. Okay. Um, all right. For them, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, clarify. Oh, the Queen of Swords, Libra Energy. Oh, my goodness. The Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, that's that reuniting energy and temperance with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for the future energy, um, Sagittarius. On your end, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? I'm seeing an opportunity coming in to end the cycle. You will have a crossroads here. You will be at a crossroads in the situation. Um, you're going to really have to think about what you want and manifest that. 
you're going to kind of have to take a step back to yourself but you are being guided to lead with love here um we're going to look into that in the extended on their end they have the ten of pentacles page of pentacles okay so they have the page of pentacles you have the page of pentacles they want to um come forward and present this opportunity um you know you're gonna have that opportunity so i see them coming in you know being very logical um wanting to reunite here with this four of wands they want to reunite they want to wow they're they they are literally saying you know i'm not satisfied emotionally and you are that emotional satisfaction for me you're everything for me um i see them wanting to invest but there's things that need to happen here there's work that needs to be done sagittarius you're gonna be in a struggle trying to balance all of this all right so I'm going to clarify all of that in the extended. Before I go into the extended, let me get some advice for you. That was an awkward shuffle jump in i love these cards they're so beautiful this is andromedan energy adventure say yes to change okay so for you this is you know there are changes occurring i see that you gain some direction and some purpose your life purpose is calling um so say yes to change jump in take the risk okay um, look how beautiful that is. Why would you not want to dive in here? And this looks like an eye. Okay. So that could be significant, significant to some of you and this connection, the eyes. Um, I did see twin flame. We have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transformation and activation. Um, I kind of want to see what this card says in the book quickly um, star bathing if you pull this card you may be being called to begin working with the stars and the crystalline grid of the earth some people believe the crystalline grid of the earth anchors divine cosmic frequencies you may be guided um, to journey to particular places on earth to unlock these cosmic codes with your presence um, this card could also be here to connect you with the crystalline grid of the earth, either in your hometown or by traveling or other places without quite knowing why. It can also mean that your light body, the energy body in its highest form is being activated. If this resonates, take things extra slow in order to integrate this change of vibration. Okay. So yeah, the light body, that's about an integration for you and also if you're being called to travel if you're being called to go to certain places pay attention to that i did see dream messages as well oh sagittarius We have intention, ideas, and inspiration. So be very, um, take things slow. Yes, you're being called to jump in. Yes, there are th new things that will present themselves to you or are presenting themselves to you. Everything that you're doing, have intention here, okay? We have ideas and inspiration, okay? So these things could be coming to you now. You could be getting ideas. Look at that little boy, you know, angel whispering in her ear and so that also you know the dream messages any insight that's coming to you ideas inspiration pay attention to that because your angels are guiding you playfulness your angels are telling you to enjoy life a little bit more tap into that childhood side of yourself and you can do so because you are protected guardian angel to remind you that you are protected okay they hear you they're listening
Sagittarius. Oh, truths unveiled. The revelation of Isis. I love this. This is that Gemini Sagittarius eclipse energy. This is that um, energy that I saw in your past. Truths being revealed. Judgment, justice, clarity, new information. Oh, this is like the last card. Okay, so this says there are times when the appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you. Trust your intuition. You may think there's something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feelings rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There's a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it is being made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. Okay, so this is very important for you to trust your intuition. Um, if you feel it, you feel it. And I know sometimes you really don't pay attention to those things but there's a reason you know when you're around someone and you're feeling something there is a reason okay um there i did see judgments and assumptions but you will know the difference you can differentiate between your intuition and between your mind just being negative okay thank you so much sagittarius please join me in the extended if this has resonated i'm gonna have a preview coming up right now the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups. Look at that beautiful lover's card, okay? So, yes, you're going to have to figure it out. You're going to have to juggle here and balance and figure out what's best for you. Weigh the options. We have Runner and we have Frenemy. Wow. There are really truths being revealed to you. Look what's at the back reassess reevaluate you're gonna have to do a lot of reassessing and reevaluating and really take a look at who you're dealing with we have runner with frenemy here so it all and to feel satisfied they have to be emotionally fulfilled all the way and that's what they're missing here okay that's what they're missing so they want to reunite four of wands they are missing that emotional fulfillment with you. And so they want to reunite here so that they can have a stubbornness. This person is definitely stubborn. Wrong path, divine intervention, children. Let me see if I can get any answers from the universe in regards to the situation. So if you have any questions, you know, go ahead and ask right now. And I'll see if I can get 